update the sighting. Let me do that quickly. Remember, I saw one unlock with this Mavazi Ingwe. She's just crossed Rebecca's Road. She's going in a southerly direction and um, back towards sort of Philemon's cut line. She's moving through the block. There we go. Date that sighting again. Now I'm trying to clip my, as you can see, my ponytails in the air. Ha! Stick into my hat, please. Ah, thank you, Karen. So I was wondering how old the little cub is, and I knew it was around February somewhere. And Karen, you've confirmed it um, that the little one was born in February. So, what are we in now? February, March, April, May, June. Four months old. Okay, maybe even four and a half months old, just because we didn't see the cub straight away. Let's we'll sneak through here. So that little one's definitely still relying on mom. Now, yeah wouldn't be able to survive on its own at all. It really does depend on its mother still suckling. And then again, look here, she's coming right past the car. She's gonna pop out right here. How cool is this? She's on just on a massive animal pathway. Hi, big girl. You have walked a very, very long way, my lady. That is so impressive how quickly she is covering ground and it also just shows you how quickly and easy it is to lose a leopard. But let's jump in front again. She's on an animal pathway again and it's not unusual for a cat like that to walk on an animal pathway, especially if she's dragging something. She's got, of course, this scrub hair in her mouth. It actually make it a little bit easier. So I know where that's going to pop out. I'm gonna race around, hold on, Craig! Craig's go down bush willow right Ooh, up and over we go again oh, I'm so sorry it's so difficult to try and navigate through here I'm trying to constantly trying to find gaps squeeze Woo, it's raining silver cluster leaves she's still going on it so I'm just trying to find this way around now Fizzle as we drive around here like a maniac uh, you're wondering what were you wondering? Can I please have a question again, Megan? It went in one ear and it went out the other. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Any any idea of what distance she's walked? Um, I would say she must, she must have gone about at least two or three miles already. She's moved quite far. Here we go. Oh, just going to move back a bit. She's coming. There she is, Craig. Right here. So she has moved quite a far distance. I can travel even further than that. I'm just making sure I give her enough space on the animal pathway in front of us for her to walk on. Here we go, girl. Look at that. And she said, thank you very much, Taylor. Thank you for leaving a gap. And I let her go. How cool is this? I haven't seen Shadow in such a long time. I can't even tell you when the last sighting is that I had. But I tell you right now, it was not as good as the one we're having. This is the best shadow sighting I've ever had, so I shall remember it for a long time to come. And what would make it even better is if we see her reunite with her little one. Oh, here we are. We're on Fulamon's dip cut, cut line now. Mamazi Ingwe is now crossing Fulamon's cut line. Oh, Megan! <laughs> Megan's updating me about what I'm doing. Sometimes we always pick up the wrong radios. She's still going. So this was Shadow that was moving around here last night then. The tracks that we had uh, going uh, around this area. So perhaps everyone was right in saying and um, that it was Shadow that we saw the morning before. Um, well, we didn't get to see her, but Rexon did see her. And that's quite interesting. She's going now straight towards Shibamu. And this is where we were driving around last night, and I thought that she'd maybe just been in the drainage line, but she's been busy. She'd been moving around this area for quite some time. So now, whose f tracks did we see earlier this morning? Who, which female leopard's tracks did we have? Because shadows come from completely the opposite direction. And we had tracks on the other side of the Mulwati. So I wonder who that was. So it might have been Tandy and Tamba that were seen around Twin Dams. Perhaps now there's going to be a battle between Shadow and Tandy as to who 
keeps this territory that Karula has left open. Maybe they go because they're sisters, they're kind. It's probably not going to happen because nature is not kind. And um, maybe they're going to just share it in half or they're constantly going to overlap in this buffer zone that has been created. But we can only just really wait and see. But I'm sure there will be an altercation. Uh, there will be a conflict between Tandi and Shadow. And I hope that when that happens, we're here to witness it. Oh my goodness. Right, we have got to duck, we've got to duck and dive underneath these bush willows now. Ali was looking at some warthogs, but I think she's just left with a cloud of dust. I have to find it on my app again. Mobile's lost visual of Mufazi Ingwe. She's gone into Little Gari now. Um, we sort of between Zoe's junction with Philemon's, we're just slightly south of that. Uh, but she's still going relatively south, like as if she's going towards Little Gari driveway, but in Little Gari. There she goes. Might be able to get another quick view of her. And off she disappears. How exciting! And I'm sure that you all absolutely loved that. Um, 